Welcome back to my channel. Um, today is an exciting video because I'm partnering up with Lush Plymouth to basically make you guys aware of what's going down because of the virus. Because as you all know, the virus is a little bit of a hot topic right now. Lockdown eased, in my opinion, a little too early, but lockdown eased. And now it's almost like, have we made a mistake? It's okay, we'll give everyone 50% off meals and stuff. And everything's in the air. Even though lockdown's lifted, the new way of shopping and everything like that is completely different. It's almost alien but Lush haven't failed to deliver. They really thought about their unique memorable shopping experience that they love to offer and how they could present that in a safe way. So something really exciting was having a home consultation. One of the things I love about Lush is you go in because you're drawn to the smell, you're drawn to the sights, I know who I am anyway, and you just immediately get greeted by someone so lovely. It's always nice to feel appreciated every time you walk in and there's someone always on hand in case you do have a particular product that you want to look for or anything like that. I know that I've definitely needed a helping hand on a lot of my shopping trips. So yeah, the idea is you can have a home consultation using Google Hangout, which I've never used before. I tend to be a bit of a Zoom girl. So to my surprise, it was still as good as having the real deal in person. The lovely lady was so nice to go through with me everything that I wanted to know, just some fun facts about some products that I didn't realise, about their stock that they're currently getting rid of. So if you didn't know, Lush are getting rid of a few of their lines. A lot of products are going, basically. So if there's a favourite that you love, I do highly recommend you go and pick it out now because you'll never see it again. So you can order on the website or you can click and collect in store. You can give them a call and they'll put your order up for you and you can pay when you get in, which is really, really nice because I know with me in particular, I wouldn't want to spend time like browsing around. I think just being in shops, because especially with my Lush store, local to me, it's not like the Oxford Street ones where it's massive and you know, but even though it's massive, it's going to be crowded, you know what I mean? But it's a smaller space and I'm aware that it can get quite packed in Lush as well. So it's quite nice having this online face-to-face -face home consultation because you don't feel like you're missing out on the experience at all. Another great thing about the Lush home consultation is that obviously they can't do demos. In store so what they're doing is using an app called lush lens which basically is a video searchable kind of situation where you can see videos of basically the demos of each product so that's quite good as well after having a little trim wag i decided yes i need to refill on some empties get some presents for peeps aka my family yeah i thought i'd do a little haul got this big chungus here. <laughs> I'm so obsessed with that word. Like my boyfriend keeps using it and now I'm just totally obsessed. I never knew it was a meme. I'm so late to the party, just like with movies and programs, I know. But um, can I just say the box smells amazing. Like, mm. okay. Sorry, I've got to always pull my top up, which is really irritating. So I feel like everything hangs out. Um, right. Oh, that's quite interesting. Your Lush products are packaged in EcoFlow chips, a potato starch based packing material which biodegrades quickly in water and soil. Well, that's another thing. So, I think you bring back five empties, so your Lush empty pops, and you'll get a free fresh mask. Free fresh mask? Free fresh face mask. Oh my god, that's it. I know that recently my Lush store asked the public what would sort of, what would be kind of like a good incentive to recycle. So, I think maybe there, there's something along in the pipeworks. This is my speculation. I did not get told this, but my speculation is that. Lush might be rejigging their recycling scheme. Maybe we can get like a voucher or some money off or like a different thing. Cause I know like not everyone uses a fresh face mask. And even if they do, it's something that you don't always, always gravitate to when going to Lush, you might need something else. So, you know, oh my God, it, it's really sticky. I'm such a kid. Oh my, oh my God. What did I even get? Oh yeah. So the first thing I got was the Jasmine and Henna Fluffies hair treatment. I just wanted a hair treatment because the idea of having like a hair treatment was really therapeutic for me because you know, I need a face mask for sure. I always use face masks, but my hair's feeling a little bit dry. That's my dog. My hair's feeling a little bit dry at the moment, especially because it's curly. It is on the drier side anyway. And it is freaking hot outside. Like it's 34, 35 degrees. So I know the moisture is going away and yeah, it's just not great. It's got Brazil nut, wheat gem oils, organic jojoba, however the hell you say it. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Always forget how to say that word. Which tames fluff and impart beautiful condition to hair. 
so as you can tell it gets a little bit frizzy in my hair which I'm trying to find that product that will just stop it from being a fluff ball so I'm hoping this eases the fluff and does what it says on the tin plus my favorite flowers are jasmine I had really vivid memories of what they looked like in the scent and stuff from when I was a young kid in the garden and so jasmine's always been that one like if I had to choose a scent like a full scent in my lifetime it would be jasmine over rose any day it's just so pungent and nice and I'm not gonna lie when lush do jasmine stuff I'm sold <laughs> I'm just sold. So yeah, got that one. The next thing I got was the Let the Good Times Roll Cleanser. So I got two of these actually. One for me and one for my brother. It's a fresh cleanser, which also acts as like a little mini scrub for the skin. It's not too harsh. It's quite gentle. So it can be used as an everyday cleanser. It's got exfoliating polenta, hydrating corn oil, and lots of popcorn. This is a bestseller, basically. Loads of people love this stuff. I absolutely adored it. You basically get a bit of a putty in your hands and you add a little bit of water and just mix it around and it just goes a little bit more liquidy and you just swoosh it all over your face and exfoliate and it's just so nice it smells dreamy as well and my skin always just feels really fresh and i feel like there's no dead skin because of the gentle polenta exfoliating it yeah the popcorn is a nice touch it does say on the um pot as well you can use it for your body which is quite interesting so if you're like me and you've got keratitis polaris i know mine's calmed down a lot i think when i was a kid it used to be really bad so okay uh, what do they call it chicken skin if you've got that then exfoliating and then moisturizing would be nice so exfoliating with this and then moisturizing with something else and would be quite nice yeah so i'm excited to fully commit to the let the good times roll cleanser so that's that one the next thing i got was the infamous dream cream i got the 45 gram pot to test and trial out i got this for my mum and dad basically to just trial out because i've heard that this is the number one go-to for soothing especially skin conditions but it's a dreamy cream anyway so any sense and easily upset skin would benefit greatly from this. I've had so many reviews. I saw loads of articles. Herbal stuff is so much better than traditional medicine in my opinion most of the time. Just thought I'd give that a little go. Oh, it does smell nice as well. Like I was worried that, you know, cause normally when you find a great cream, you just wonder if it's gonna smell good. And to be honest, why did I even worry? Like Lush always smells good. What I like about the scent of this as well, is not too pungent. I find that more pungent, chemical laden skincare items can actually aggravate and irritate your skin, especially if it's sensitive. So yeah, I'm really pleased with this one and I'm sure they'll appreciate it. The last thing I got in the sort of product region was the pot of ocean salt. So this is a face and body scrub. I think I've use this before you can get a non-alcoholic version you can get self-preserving version you can get a non-alcoholic and self-preserving version all in one or you can get a normal one without anything i got the self-preserving one this one's for my brother again i've used this one before i remember it sort of smelling quite vodka a bit limey it was like a margarita in a tub it was so nice the salt scrub itself is a little bit on the cool side from what i remember exactly how I remember it. So it's a little bit on the coarse side, but that's quite good if you're just using it once a week or a couple times a week, whatever your regime is. I remember that it always got rid of dead skin cells for me and my skin felt supple. I think it helped with my KP a lot, but I can't remember. This was such a long time ago since I've got this product and it's quite good that they're still selling it because it obviously works and everyone still loves it. It's interesting, it's got tofu in it. It's got like a citrusy scent to it as well, like grapefruit, which I really love. It's got coconut oil, mango butter, lime oil. Those are quite moisturizing as well so it's not just straight up vodka salt you know oh it is vodka fresh organic lime extracted in vodka yeah it's basically a margarita in a tub just don't go drinking this stuff, whatever you do. But yeah, it is great for the skin. So I'm glad I got in this one. Moving on to bath bombs. I was quite intrigued with this one. This one's like wrapped in sort of like a cheesecloth kind of situation. Oh my word. This is literally lavender. You know how like you used to make little lavender sachets and put them in your pillow? Well, you can put them in your pillow or you put them in your sock drawer or something and it smells amazing. It reminds me of one of those. I'm hoping this will give me a bit of zen in my nighttime routine on Sunday because I've started implementing a Sunday reset routine. It's got lavender, chamomile, lavender oil, chamomile oil, lavender absolute, neroli oil. This is just basically lavender and chamomile. This is quite beneficial as well because if you've seen my last vlog, I did mention I was having some sleeping trouble. This will be a good way to see see if this actually works for that as well and hopefully get my sleeping routine back intact. Yeah, all in all, I'm pretty pleased I've got this one. I've never had a bath bomb from Lush that's wrapped like this before, so I'm really intrigued to see what happens. Just a side note, if you ever get this, do not undo the wrap. This whole thing goes in the bath because if you unwrap it, I've seen a review, if you unwrap it, there's gonna be bits in your bathtub and you don't want that. So yeah, it's good it comes with a cloth because I can reuse this for so many things. I do like the eco-friendly side of this as well. So yeah, definitely love that one. The next bath bomb I got was the Rose Butterfly 
butterfly. This has basically got sparkling lemon and rose. It looks incredible. It smells really great, but not too strong. It is strong enough to have a good scent and aroma. The predominant ingredient is rose oil, and I do love a rose floral scent. I can't get enough of it. Oh my God, it's so nice. <laughs> this one's going to my sister, so yeah, it's just a gift for her, really. Something fun for the bathtub. I do love how bright it is as well, because one thing that I love about Lush Bath Bombs is they don't go easy on the color. They absolutely love color, and they will run with it. And that's the best thing about it, because I don't know, it's just so therapeutic just watching all these colors just squish around you. But yeah, I'm really glad I got her this one so she can test trial this. I tend to, whenever I go to Lush, I always get her a couple bath bombs or something. She seems to really enjoy them. So it's kind of a running thing, really. is a rose clay. <sighs> I've just spent the last 15 minutes looking for an empty box for my last item. I ordered the rose clay salt cube which is like a little mini bath bomb, it's like a cube and it was one of the ones that was running out, they're never going to bring it back so I was like oh I want to try it and it's on my receipt, it's on my order details online but it's not in my package and oh it's such a yeah, I've sent an email, so I should get something tomorrow, but it was all going so well. Yeah, that's awkward. That's never happened before. I, I mean, I've never ordered from Lush before, to be honest, but I can only imagine that they're going crazy with orders. But I'm not going to lie about it. Guys, they've left the product out. I'm not too mad because I understand, you know, I appreciate they must be busy and stuff, but that is a bummer. We'll see what the deal is. I'm sure it'll be sorted. They'll either give me one or a refund so it's absolutely fine but other than that mishap i really enjoy the products that i got today so yeah if you want to get your lush fix have your little bath bomb sesh then be sure to check out the website you can book in a home consultation as well on their website or give your store a call or anything like that and yeah i highly recommend it if you're on the hunt for some presents or treating yourself some self-care sunday routines going on i hope you liked the video and it was informative i think it's really important to look after yourself and i know everyone says oh putting a face mask on dolly ain't gonna fix your life but sometimes it actually does so I definitely am trying to implement more self-care solutions into my routine and I've been noticing a little slight change I feel a lot more relaxed so yeah that's all for me today I hope you liked the video don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you liked it and a comment I'll leave my social links down below and I'll see you in my next one bye